Hi, I'm Paul Wells from Agile J. Inheritance, what is it and what problems does it solve? Well, it solves two problems really. I'll deal with the first one in this video and I'll deal with the other one in another video. Generalization. Let's suppose we've been asked by a property real estate company to write an application to store and manage all of the properties that they have on their books. And we do some analysis and we find out that they need to store uh, information about rented flats and in particular the attributes are the monthly rent including the utilities, uh, the number of rooms in the flat, the location of the flat, the landlord and maybe 20, 30 other attributes as well, which is fine. So we think about how we can uh, best store that information and following the uh, principle of encapsulation that we looked at in the previous video, we write some code which accesses just those attributes. And that's fine. And then we carry on with the analysis and we find out there's also something called a, an owner-occupied house. And in this case, the attributes are its value and the number of rooms and the location and something called the energy efficiency of the house, the energy efficiency rating. And again, we uh, figure out what's the best way to store these values and we write some code and encapsulate this into, uh, into a single thing. The problem is that we also go on to find out that the real estate company uh, need to model commercial properties and there's a long list of other types of properties that they uh, need us to work on as well. And we've got some repetition here. I mean, we've got location appearing twice. Uh, we've got number of rooms appearing twice. So for each of those attributes, we've got to write more code. We've got to test that code. And this becomes a problem. Um, what's also another problem is that um, maybe we're quite close to delivering the application and we discover that the location which we were storing as a street address um, has got some ambiguity to it and so instead it would be better to actually store a map grid reference that, uh, that people can just put straight in their sat nav. So okay we have to change it here but we also have to change it here and on all the other places that we've implemented it as well. So basically there's a lot of, uh, a lot of repetition. Okay, well, the answer is to generalize away from all of these specific levels up to a general level, the parts which appear repeatedly. Once you've done that, once you've generalized, then you only store the attribute in one place. And of course, you only write the code in one place and you only need to test that code in one place. And then down at this level, those attributes and that behavior and that code are, in, are inherited. There's no need to repeat them down at this level. And that is generalization or the generalization side of inheritance. 